All right, so we are getting straight to things here tonight. First thing, I am going to show you guys the, again, the double cross, double move coming down here to our training window. And let's talk about this. Double cross, double move. Now, there is a double cross play in which we are looking for the reversal. We are gonna to try to hopefully eliminate some of the confusion with that and know what we're gonna be doing with that double cross, double move. So some of the first things that we want to be looking for inside of our double cross, double move is the favorable direction. Now, this is probably review. You need to make sure, um, again, tonight I'm gonna to go directly into the stuff on the double cross, double move, but you need to go back and watch lessons one through six, particularly to add the core into this. Do not take this blindly, but this, this is just the details specifically on that. Very important for this strategy on the favorable direction, all right? Now, what we're gonna see is the obvious double cross. Um, it can be more. I'll show you guys an example of that. And we need a measuring tool. Several to choose from. All right, several ways I'll show you guys that. And um, then we are looking for uh, targets and stops here. All right, so let's draw a, an example of one of these first. And let's look at um, a, let's, um, Let's draw it like this. So our price is coming down. Let's be drawing with some straight lines here. So price is gonna be coming down to an area. We need a pivot. And then we're gonna kinda of come up at a location. Maybe make a couple moves, something like this. Somewhere in there, we are gonna see some pretty big movement. Whoops, not like that. <laughs> Probably not like that. Um, sorry, drawing tool issues. And then we are looking for Something approximately like this. Now, with our visuals, what are we going to be looking for is the multi cross. All right, so this is going to have a cross here, and we'll do one like this. Not perfect. There we go. All right, so. The, the main thing we are looking for in this, and I wish I had white crosses, I do not have, uh, my, this drawing tool does not allow me to draw in, in white, or I would draw those crosses in white. So uh, <laughs> use your imagination and know that these are going to be white crosses. I'm gonna show you guys live examples of these, but first thing we wanna do is create our notes for this. And of course, where are our stops going to be? I want, uh, I want some stops right down here below the lowest cross. Stop and stop at the bottom of the cross. And of course our targets are going to be up here on the double move. Let's draw it right about here. Okay, so fairly, fairly simple. Um, we are gonna be looking for, can we get some yellow here? There we go. So we're measuring from this pivot to the center of really the lowest cross. In this case, it's gonna be this one, but oftentimes it'll be here. But we are looking for the lowest cross. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, again, we're talking about a long scenario. If this is reversed the other direction, it's the other side. You guys just get the picture, okay? But basically the closest, we'll call it the closest distance from the pivot to the cross. This is where we are measuring, okay? So we're picturing the distance between here and there. Now, the exception to this, let's zoom back here real quick, in case um, there are gonna be scenarios where the price doesn't come down to a pivot, but we actually have price kind of coming up into an area like this, and what we may wanna have, what we may have here is a cross section down here. This is the, the other scenario. Okay, and I actually really like this scenario even better. Um, when I can see cross, measure to cross, and what I'm looking to measure is, again, the, the distance in this case, instead of the pivot, okay? This is the pivot scenario we're measuring from the center of the first cross. Does not have to be at a pivot, okay? You will see these, I'll give you some examples in live examples, but we're measuring from there to there. Now, the main objective is obviously price, so I'm gonna go and let's measure this in green here. All right, and let's measure this up. Um, it looks a little bit odd, but there we go. Okay, so our distance, let's just carry it over here for bracketing. 
All right, so I'm going to measure the distance from here to here, and let's say that this is uh, four points. Okay, uh, now again, I don't like talking in points, but you need to make sure that we are measuring the distance from here to here, and that we want that same um, same movement from here to there. Okay, this is the double cross, double move. Measurement can be from some form of pivot or from another cross, or it can be double cross. As I've seen scenarios, we have another scenario where we had multi-cross, measure to multi-cross, and then I'm looking for the target up above, okay? That can also happen. The main idea is that we are looking for the leg on the left, okay? Two legs, all right, equal distance is what we're looking for. How do we know it's coming? Because we've got that double cross right in the middle, kind of connecting the two legs. I want to see the double cross right in the center of those, and I'm looking for the extension. Now, does this mean that price is going to go straight to that? No. In fact, oftentimes, price, so use our P for pink here, oftentimes price can actually end up kind of coming like this, kind of coming like this, kind of, but it ends up being up here somewhere like this, okay? Now, sometimes it goes straight to it. Sometimes it looks like this. Um, there are times when this can even kind of come down and come way down here and then end up going like this, but you will see this time and time and time again that this double cross, double move, when you are going with favorable direction, this is a nice visual tool here with Algobox. Use the Flow Master to your advantage to see that double cross and the double move. Um, stops, bottom of the cross. Now, if there are a cluster of crosses, it still needs to be at the lowest cross, okay? The one that is closest to the first pivot. Again, if it's the other direction going short, then it's gonna be at the top, okay? But you guys get the picture. That would be up here, right? Above that cross right there. You guys got it, okay? Um, almost every time, it's a beautiful part about the Flowmaster when we're using this for our stops and targets, or particular, I'm sorry, our stops, that the, the stops are always going to be very small, and we've got that big risk to reward ratio. If you are entering um, right here, let's use um, red for red for this. All right, so if our risk is this little space right here, Look at the risk to reward ratio on, now again, obviously this is different on each one, but you are typically looking at a very, very big difference in your stop to target ratio on these. Wow, it's a terrible circle. Um, it's my tab tool. There we go, it's a nice little circle there for you. Right there, that is a huge risk to reward ratio on that, and that is also some of, um, some of the reason why we really, really like this setup, okay? now. Let me show you something even cooler about the size of these. Now these can come in on, these are gonna be mainly on your algo bars. I wouldn't really necessarily try this on other things. However, if you are looking at um, bigger time frames, if you're gonna look at this on the tide or the wave, the wave is probably gonna be the best place to do this. Um, we can and we have seen these on the tide, but those are scenarios where you're gonna be looking for multi-day trades if you're trading off of the tide chart. Now, if you don't know what those things are, you can go back and watch some of our um, training videos. You're gonna to need to know what those are. So this is the tide chart up here, tide wave, right? Now we're gonna pass through our MACV filter. Most of these are gonna be coming down on these type of charts. Now, remember the crosses and the circles are the same thing, bubbles on the higher time frames. okay? So if, they, if you're using the bubbles, this still applies. It can be the double bubble, right? Double bubble, bubble, double trouble. And we are looking for that double move. Now, let me show you guys some live examples with that as that is going to be uh, super helpful for everybody. If you are looking for these strategies, make sure, of course, you get familiar with Discord. If you're not familiar with our Discord channel, <laughs> we're being, we're, we've, got some, we've got some fun going on in the room here this evening. Um, this is the E-mini main chat, and you're gonna wanna scroll down over here on the left. Of course, actually, if you're not familiar with it, again, this is the primary chat. Make sure you are, uh, you've already clicked on the Discord down below, and of course, download the two-week free trial if you have not done so. Scrolling down, get down to the education section right here this is where we are and uh, the way discord is lined out if you are new to our room we do have some folks who are coming new there are kind of three sections in discord hopefully you're not using this from your phone because it's a little bit different there but if you're on a pc you'll have this left hand menu over here on um, this is where all of the kind of details for all of our training is this is going to be the conversations and information and of course this is just members area on the right to chat with folks okay so come on down here and we're looking for the double cross. So if you are coming in here tonight with us to go and study this, go over here to the double cross. This is where you're gonna find all of the setups for kind of the live examples. And we're gonna have video links and stuff in here related to the double crosses. Now, 
double crosses can be used for reversals, okay? So I don't want you guys to get confused and think that, well, every double cross play means we are going to be getting a, um, you know, a double move. So there are the double cross reversals. Don't be confused with those. Again, tonight on a level of difficulty, uh, these are very, very easy in my opinion, but this is the one caveat right here on those double cross reversals. So if you're looking at those, go watch the videos on those double cross reversals um, in the Flowmaster series. But in this case, why there's a couple things i mean first of all look we got shorts favorable right so if we were looking for a uh, a double cross double move then we would be measuring from this pivot right to here and we would be expecting a move up to here right but what's our very very first thing i told you guys right don't go against the favorable direction right so shorts favorable and what's right here we're coming into a prz okay you don't want that to occur if you're coming into a prz something like that then this is that's not gonna that's not gonna fly right we obviously want to take this as a reversal so keep that in mind all right um now what about this one right here what about this double cross right here there's a double cross what, what do you think about this is that a reversal is that a double cross play i would be taking this as a double cross all right so i would be looking at i got a pivot right here i would measure from here to here and i'd be looking for a, a secondary move up to here except for the fact that we've got shorts favorable, right? So this is one of those, it's like, this one still works pretty well, but there is no PRZ right there. I would still likely, just me, I would probably end up taking this up first, but I would get stopped out, right? You can see this would have stopped out, that pivot right there takes this thing out before we get a big move. Now, would I take a second try at this? Maybe, I don't know, again, this is not a perfect strategy, just like anything else, but these stand out very, very, um, they're very, very visual, right? They're really gonna stand out to you. Now, in a scenario like this, right, do you think that I'm gonna be taking <laughs> a pivot from here to here and measuring this and going, oh, cool, double cross down there. This means this thing's gonna go way, way down here. No, probably not. I'm looking for that double cross reversal. We're into PRZs, right? So I'm showing the, the opposition, the showing the other thing that can occur with those double crosses. That is a double cross reversal, okay? So showing the double cross reversals. There that sucker goes, that was a big one. But let's get down and show you guys um, what happens when we have, uh, again, another multi-crosses into a PRZ, right? We're looking for reversal, no biggie, right? But let's go down and look at some of the double cross, double moves. All right, so here is, here's a nice example right here. This one is broken past those PRZs. What's our direction? We've got longs favorable, okay? So what are we doing? Measuring my pivot from here to here, right now. How do I measure from here to here? Several ways. Let's talk about some of those ways to measure those because uh, you know each one is different. I like to just use a simple line tool. I literally press F2. Um, F2 is the default for uh, those of you guys who installed an integrator. F2 is going to be the line tool. Okay. If you are a fib person and there are a lot of folks who have come from other things, okay, you're pressing F8. These are the defaults. Again, you could have moved these somewhere else. But this is going to be the fib retracement tool. All right, and you can just measure from here to here, okay? So you measure from here to here, it's going to project out for you the double move. Um, in this case, we have the double crosses right here. I'm going to take this out at this spot. Just being honest, I see this come up. I'm probably going to take it out a little bit early. But if you did the full measurement on this, this is going to be from here to here. And that means we are looking for a double move approximately right about there. Yeah, which completely, you know, shows out. We, we definitely get the move. Um, you see this white line right here. I drew those. This is my copy line tool. Now, if I'm using the line tool, I do have to hit copy paste. Okay. So you may prefer to use the fib retracement tool. I kind of go back and forth. Sometimes I use one, use the other. Um, but visually, I draw them with the line tool because there's so many other things that use fib, um, even your J hooks and things like that. So I don't want to be confused with that. And I'm knowing that I'm looking for the full 100% extension retrace. Again, on if you're using the fib retracement tool, this is going to be the 100% extension, right? To get the double move because you're getting 100% of the size of the previous leg. Okay. <clears throat> but if you are just wanting to draw the line and then copy paste the line. So if you have not done this before, just click on the line that you drew right there. Click, right? Control C, Control V. Paste, I think you actually might have to right click, copy, paste, I forget. Um, and then paste it right there. 
um, and then move it to, um, you know, pivot's gonna be right here, and we're looking for the pivot out there. I hope you guys get this, I know you guys, uh, we got a lot of sharp folks in here, but that is what this is gonna look like. Now, so through all that mess, where's my entry? I am entering here as I see the double cross come in. Where's my stop? Stop's gonna be right down here, right? Right below the cross. And now we've got this target. It should be targeting up here, right? But like I said, I am likely gonna pull the trigger if I see something like that, I'm just being honest. I'll play a little chicken with this, but if I had been, you know, super cool, um, could have held this out all the way up to the big target up there, okay? Um, this, that's a multi-PRZ cross. That's the, you know, show the, the difference. You know, the same thing here, what do we got here? This is a headshot there pulling down this direction. Am I gonna play that as a double, a double move? No. This one here, we're working into a position like this. We're coming into a multi-PRZ. I'm gonna be popping that up and out. That is a reversal, okay? Let's look at the, Another double move. All right, so here's a nice double move. This one was from today. Pivot right here, easy entry. You're gonna see these start to cluster up. Now again, this is one with multi-cross, right? This doesn't have to be a double cross. Most of the time it's doubles, but this one was a big triple. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, something else at the end here for a little mini J that came for a perfect trap and a turn right before we saw, I wanna say right before, but what led into this double movement and continuation up was a beautiful setup um, that I might give you guys a sneak peek at that I will be talking about on Wednesday if you guys come back and I'll show you guys the mini J using our system. Very awesome stuff. Okay, so there's that pivot. We are measuring from here to here. If you're using fib tool, same thing. 100% retracement, gonna be targeting out and look at that beautiful little red dot up there to show you your exit on top of that. Very, very easy. And this is one of those scenarios where it went straight to target, right? Showed you guys that this can happen very, very easily. However, again, some of them are more difficult than this. These will kind of come down here, kind of yeah, but end up, you know, up here. But when you see one of these, this is that flow master indication that we want to see that continue on. Okay, very very easy. Now here's one. Um, this one happened after hours. This was um, after I say after hours. Uh, let me be specific. After the U.S. session. This is in the um, evening sessions for us. That's the Tokyo sessions um, starting up on this one. So. We've got a nice little double move cross here. Now, notice this one would have stopped out, right? If you've got your stop right above this, that's gonna stop out right there at that pivot, right? But how can we avoid this one? Can you see how we can avoid this? Look, right here, just if you get real close, it's there's, there's a Gartley. This is not this PRZ. Be careful, that's not the PRZ Gartley. This just happened to be the text of the first pivot. If you see in there, there is a, there's a nice Gartley, right? in here, a little miniature one, okay? But again, this can be your, there's a PRZ right there, whoops. And we've got the double cross right there. So maybe an easy one to avoid because this could be looking like a push up, plus you've got the open line, okay? Again, you guys should know our other rules. You know, you know gotta go back and study all the videos. Again, I can only, I'm trying to keep these videos short where they're specific to the strategy themselves but here's the things that you need to know and take all the other things into account when I'm talking about, well, this is the open line, right? That's the nice dashed orange line, that's the open. Red line is the low of day, right? Now, this is at the open the night before. Another thing that's going on here, this is not US session, so you gotta be careful doing these after hours. The first one, very easy to avoid, in my opinion. But now you get this one, this is an easy money take that trade for that double move, okay? So I'm showing, we got two examples here. This one's kind of a bad one, right? Maybe do a red X on this, right? But this one, I mean, this is this is gold. This is the golden goose right here, folks. Got that nice pivot down, measure from here to here, extension out, there to there, easy, easy target. I didn't get too heavy on this one. This was after hours, so took that one nice and easy. Um, that, that's a, that is a beautiful trade set up right there. Those are again, some of my favorites. The Flowmaster, again, we that finished that out this year. Man, this thing is so powerful, y'all. If you have not used uh, Flowmaster to understand the OP-ness, the overpoweredness of this uh, tool set, you know, you're really, really missing out. Go, uh, go pick that up and try it out for yourself. Okay, um, so those are your double cross, double moves. Uh, I think I showed you guys, did I show you one with a, no, let's show this one. So this is the scenario where, rather than a pivot, remember how I told you guys there are scenarios where you're gonna get some movement up into an area, but then all of a sudden you see a cross, which shows what, I mean, it could be a pivot. Like if you just kind of covered this part of the screen, right, and didn't see this, and you just thought you substituted pivot for cross, single cross up to double cross, boom, 
there we go, money, right? If you can look at the measurement from here to here, again, these are ones that you're gonna have to practice as you see these setups, but go back on your charts and I would just go label, okay, for your, your assignment on looking at the double cross. Wow, that's a terrible drawing. <laughs> okay, that doesn't look that, that doesn't look co-equal at all. Um, let's try that again. Okay, right about there, coming out and out. And about there, there we go. Okay, that should be, you know, Equi equidistant right there, double cross, double move. So double the move, right? Leg one on the left, we are measuring, gonna be the same distance that we're looking for this one to get our target. Target's filled like a boss, right? Okay, um, let's see. Um, what do I wanna talk about? Oh yes, so your assignment. Go back on your charts and go find all of your double crosses. Now, if you have been drawing the white lines like we've been talking about in one of our videos where I'm showing you guys how I am like lo looking for the lines, going in and pressing F6, okay, the other um, other tool, if you guys are following along, F6, what does this do? This is the default for the horizontal line that you're drawing, right, horizontal line. So what should we have here? Um, I wish I had white, but I do not have a white uh, drawing tool, so we'll do it like this. Okay, oops, well, I should have gone through the center, okay? But you should hopefully already have vertical lines going all the way across all of your double crosses. And now go back and look and see how many of those you see with the double move and come report those back down to me down in the comments down below if you are using our tools. And again, if you're not using our tools, you can go download the two, uh, two week free trial. Again, we are so confident in our tools. You can install it. You will see for yourself these things happen in real time on your machines. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, we are coming up on the holidays, so looking forward to some of that. On Wednesday, I'm gonna show you guys that J. Let me uh, wet your whistle a little bit with that J that I'm gonna show you guys how to play on Wednesday. This is that one from earlier today. Big, big move coming up and out of this little beauty right here. If um, it's, it's very, very, hmm, it's almost cute. It's so small. It's so small, it's cute. Little tiny J right there. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about this little monstrous beast right here. Um, trap, move, J hook, and this is this is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Starts a huge, huge move, and I will show you that on Wednesday. And it is awesome what we are doing here. If you have not seen it, I would go check out the results from our members and appreciate you guys and the crew. Thanks for hanging out, folks. For me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis G, and the rest of the gang. I'm sitting out in the Big H Town. See ya.